Hey guys, so um, yeah, car booty time. <laughs> so this is the stuff that I bought on uh, Boxing Day. If you don't know what that is, it's something to have in the UK, maybe elsewhere. So that's like the day after Christmas Day, the 26th of December. And uh, the car boot sale was on, so I was down there. Um, it wasn't a public holiday, so it was on, yeah? Because here, if it was a public holiday, it wouldn't be on, that's for sure. So... Um, I've uh, rearranged a few things in the workshop, so I've rearranged the position of the camera. I'm now using a, a desk microphone, so I want to see if this actually improves the video quality. So I thought I'd do a short video and let me know if you think the video, well, in particular, actually, the audio quality is any better. Now I'm trying to uh, fix this hissing problem uh, that I'm getting. Uh, okay, so there we go. I'm using a, a, a DJ uh, microphone, basically. I'll just show you where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> improvised okay and that's connected into uh, a mixer dj mixer and then feeding into the line in on the computer so let's see what it does okay um anyway um on christmas day uh, i got a phone call about half past nine at night and it was one of the guys who works at the market and i was oh, he's going to tell me it's not on due to like you know the covid restrictions just getting worse here uh, and he wasn't, he, he, uh, he wanted to know if I could give him a lift to the market because the guy who normally takes him had let him down. Well, actually, he was drunk, <laughs> basically, so he wasn't going to be fit the next day. So I said, yeah. So uh, I went down there and I had a look around. I, did, I, I didn't actually find anything worth buying. I saw a guy with a computer that was like a Pentium 4478, Sony Vio, it said on the front of a white case. But I had a look inside, there was no CPU, and it looked like the heat sink was missing off the north bit, so I didn't bother, so I said to him, oh, bit's missing. Uh, and that was that, really. Nothing else worth having. Um, so, I went back about the end of the day, like about two-ish or so, uh, and the guy I was picking up, um, he was a little bit late, he had some customers towards the end of the day, so I had to wait a while. And all the traders were leaving. And uh, right behind this stand where I was picking this guy up, um, there was a CRT TV, like a portable 14 inch. I said, oh, that might be handy if it make a video on the channel. Let's do something different. Yeah, I was looking at a CRT TV. Because there were some people buying these for use with like old uh, video game consoles, like 80s consoles, and maybe Spectrums and these sort of computers. They say they don't look the same on. Uh, on a monitor compared to a TV, if you want the actual uh, experience, yeah. So anyway, uh, this guy says to me, oh, uh, they'll leave that, they won't take it because uh, nobody wants them anyway. So um, anyway, at the end of the day, he did, he, he put some stuff in his van and then he's, I saw him take this monitor over to like these skips behind the building. I've never actually noticed before, and I noticed quite a few people taking stuff, the traders, taking some stuff they hadn't sold over to these skips. So I, I followed him over halfway and asked him if I could have this. Can I have this TV? He said, yeah, sure, and he, he gave it to me. Uh, so we packed everything up, this guy. This guy, by the way, was helping his house clothes, yeah, second-hand clothes and shoes. So we loaded the van, and as we were, I said, I'll just drive past them. Skips, if I can see anything else worth having. There's one or two people looking around them at this time. And there was some electrical and electronic goods in there. But I spotted, what do you think I saw? This Sony Vio computer, the one I said the guy didn't want. So I said, hang on, stop. I'm going to jump out. So I jumped out and I grabbed it. So I've got the computer. <laughs> so <laughs> I've learned a new trick now. So it seems that, I, think, I mean, I go to the market normally about half eight. It starts about eight. I go about half past eight. Uh, and I'll buy what I want because it's not too busy at that time of day. But I figured now, if I go back about um, quarter past two, it finishes at two, and go park near the skips, I might just find like stuff that I didn't want for free. <laughs> and like getting something you don't want for free is better than getting something you don't want and paying for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, new trick anyway. So, what have I got here? Well, I've got a, a CRTV and a CRT TV, and I've got a Sony Vio. So let's have a quick look, and I'll show you what I've got. So this is the the portable TV. It's a Philips. Um, it may be possible. I mean, there's I don't have any remote, but it might be possible to tune this. I mean, I've got a uh, line around an old uh, games console that I can't test because I didn't happen to have a TV at the workshop. I can actually tune it in on you. It's got a scart on the back as well. Uh, so that's that. So I thought let's uh, 
Shall we, just pull, shall we just pull it in and see what it does? I mean, uh, I can assume I haven't been the first person to pull this in. So uh, let's just, uh, I mean, I could put the light bulb where it's on and check the shorts. It might draw a lot of power anyway, but I'll put the light bulb on. And I'll switch it on and see what happens. Well, the light bulb didn't come on. Oh, yeah, but hold on. Of course, these things have a done off switch on the front, don't they? Right. The light bulb sort of came on fairly bright, but I'm not totally sure that is actually a short because this thing's probably going to draw quite a bit of power anyway. Um, and it didn't come on instantly. It, like, I switched the switch and then like half a second later the light bulb came on. So I'm going to switch that back off again, yeah? And I'm just going to switch it on. And, uh, let, let's see if, uh, if anything goes bang now, yeah? Ready? Big scary noise. Oh, no, the light came on the front of the telly. No big scary Oh! <laughs> so, I have myself a, a TV that appears to be working, yeah, at the skip. Oh. I'll spend a bit of time to figure out if it's possible to tune this thing without the, uh, maybe if you press two buttons together you might get into the menu, yeah. I'll figure out without a remote control if I can actually tune this in and if i can't that be useful for testing the old games consoles oh well that was a bit of a bonus that was a, a short one i thought we might get a, a good a good repair video out of that yeah let's, let's repair crt tv if anybody wants to see that sort of thing if we want to have a go at it by the way uh let me know and i'll see if i can find any more in the skip next time i'm down there yeah all right let's go on to this sony then Oh, only thing I'll say with this, I've tried pressing like, it's got like volume and channel up and down buttons on the front, so I thought maybe if I held in two buttons at the same time, I might be able to get into the menu, but I don't seem able to, so I don't seem to be able to tune it, which makes it a bit useless for, for what I wanted to do with, with it, which is like really annoying, I mean, because it's free. Uh, it's a uh, Philips 14 PT 1353 slash zero zero. Uh, I could do get a remote for that, that will be useful then. Uh, but I've had a quick look, uh, I'll just put onto the, the capture, you'll see yourself, I mean just uh, go here. So this is the manual and it, that is the remote apparently. And it looks like you need the remote to be able, able to, to scan any channels in. That's fun. Is that better? <laughs> I play with this new uh, camera setup. Um, yeah, so Without the remote, I can't really use it. That's, that's the same problem as the other little TV I have, a little 14-inch flat-screen TV. Uh, but anyway, if I search for this remote, yeah, this replacement remote, uh, 14PT353, like on Amazon, for example, it shows a completely different remote, but it shows the same model. So does anybody know like, where I can find a remote for this TV? I mean... Is that the same thing? I don't know. And then, yeah, that kind of solved a problem for me. All right, so anyway, that's uh, enough, of, enough of that for now, yeah. Let's have a look at the other uh, thing I've got here. Now. Let's have a look at this uh, Sony uh, Vio uh, computer with uh, bits missing from what I can see. Let's see if that's any use. Okay, so this is the one, and um, I think actually we'll put this down as a skip dive in a video because I didn't buy any of this stuff, it did come out the skip at the end of the car boot sale, uh, which is the new trick I've learned, that's for sure, yeah. So, so anyway, this is the Sony, so let's have a look to see, <coughs> I mean I did actually say see this at the fair, but there's something very loose inside it, and I didn't want it, and I'll show you why I didn't want it, but then when it was in the skip, uh, oops, <laughs> Something almost far of it. Uh, although I didn't want it when it was at the skip, it became like more like desirable, yeah. So it looks like to me, if I'm sure that the heat sinks missing off the north bridge, yeah, south bridge, north bridge. There must be like obviously like something was clipped on here was a heat sink. So I don't know. The P4S DVL motherboard, obviously AGP. Um, it might be worth a try, just see if this thing actually actually works, yeah. I've got the hard drive is rattling around inside it, which is a IDE, um, Seagate, 120, I can just see it says 120, 120 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, yeah, 
Oh, what's, what's that? Such a funny thing. Let me zoom down. Yeah, what's, what's, this, what's this funny thing down here? Connected to the motherboard. On a three pin plug, yeah? What's that? Interesting. Okay, well, we'll do the usual thing on this. Let's check for sure. So let's see if we find the process it actually supports. And let's see if it does anything, yeah? Okay, so I had a look. I mean, this supports 400, 533, and 800 me uh, megahertz front side bus processors. This one's a 533 front side bus. I couldn't find any list of supported CPUs for this. It's an Asus motherboard, and it's P4SD-VL. Yeah, P4SD-VL, that's the, the motherboard. Now, I can see that this capacitor, and if it gets, you can probably see it. Yeah, so these two capacitors need replacing, and there's a couple more here, and th th there's one here as well. Well, because somebody's taking the heatsink off the north bridge, I'm not sure if really whether it's worth me trying to put some new capacitors and see what it does. And um, also, this has like a an unusual, unusual size ATX power supply, it's very narrow, yeah. Um, so it's like a proprietary one. I don't know what this what this connector here does. I really don't know what that's doing. Um, but, since I got it for nothing, I think what I might just do, is just, uh, this is a AMD sync, but it just happens to fit quite nicely into here for now, put a bit of gunk on it. And I think I'll just try and power this up with the, the uh, bad capacitors. So I suspect it might start up, and if it doesn't, I haven't really lost anything. I mean, the CPU isn't valuable either. Um, and just see whether or not it might bleep. There's no ramming. If I get some bleeps out of it or some signs of life, then I'll uh, I'll change the capacitors and see if I get it working. Also, this doesn't have any onboard uh, graphics and there's no card in. I've just put my analyzer card in here now. I can just I can just see if it's actually making any attempt to boot up. Just just to focus on that way. There we go, yeah, that looks better, okay. So, yeah, I'll just see whether this actually does want to do anything. Um, so, let's switch the power on. So, we've got power on and nothing went bang. Um, I'll just switch on this. Oh, on here. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's bleeping. So, in that case, then, I think it's worthwhile my taking the time to uh, replace these capacitors. Uh, and then we'll uh, have a look to see if it actually wants to work. I'll just uh, zoom this down a moment. So, so, there. so you can see quite clearly that this capacitor is gone, yeah. Uh, same applies with these two at the other end, if you look, they, 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 they're bulged, yeah. If I move that out of the way. So you can probably see that these are like flat and then these two are bulged, so they're gone. And then the other two, uh, one of them's here, which is bulged. And the other one is uh, back here, which is bulged and leaked a little bit. So yeah, let's uh, change those uh, capacitors. Uh, if I've been working, I mean, I can probably find some something to put on here as a heat sink off an old scrap board or something. And um, because it does 800 megahertz front side buzz and supports some quite fast uh, P4s, it's probably actually quite a nice machine. Um, okay, I'll get. Let's get these uh, capacitors changed. Okay, so I've replaced the uh, the capacitors, the, the, just the ones that were bulged, seven of them, so I've replaced those. And um, I've uh, got the hard drive attached to it and got it booted up. This is uh, just a heat sink off an old scrap board, but it happens to fit. Yeah, it happens to fit into the clip, so it's clipped on fine with a bit of heat sink compound. I think that'll be fine on there. I mean, it might be fractionally small than the other one, but I could always fit a little fan on top of it. Uh, but, Anyway, it's running, it's running cold, or, well, not cold, it's running cool, yeah, it's not getting overly hot. Um, and I have the, uh, let's just get that out of here, I have the PC in, in Windows XP, that's on the original hard drive, it has a password on it, but it, it's working, yeah. So, yeah, this is a good one. Um, <laughs> Nice bit of skip diving, that, at the end of the uh, car boot. So, yeah, for definite, I'll be... Um, when I'm at the car boot in the future, I'll go down in the morning, sort of like half eight or so, to buy anything I fancy. And I'll definitely be down there about a quarter past two, park up on the car park. Uh, so that way we have binoculars, I can get a good view of people are dumping. 
And now uh, I'll do some skip diving as well, yeah. So the the car booty uh, is now the car booty and skip diving video. Uh, the other thing I just wanted to prove is whether or not the uh, setup is working better now with the new uh, camera position and the microphone, okay? So uh, please, uh, that was the main thing about this video. So please let me know what you think and if that's now better. Okay, guys, adios amigos and see you soon.